Hello friends, Ashton here. So in this video, I'm going to show you a new project uh, related to the Gmail and the ChatGPT. So in this one, I'm going to use ChatGPT to create a reply to uh, to your emails. Okay, a reply or a reply in draft. So we have these options here. So basically, uh, the script is going to run automatically and it's going to check your inbox in some frequency right we are check them every five minutes or every 10 minutes or every one minute like that and if we find some emails which meets the criteria we set in the settings and then it's going to create a reply according to the message you know the previous message in that email thread right so in the spreadsheet here we have a rules tab here it's like a settings so you can create a set of rules to filter your inbox like for example uh, if i'm trying to so in column a it's called gmail query so this is like a filter method so if you can like for example if i'm trying to filter the email from this email address and we subject guess 105 and then we can only apply this reply message to this set of emails and uh, this one is optional for the chat GPT prompt and you can ask them to create a reply message right so basically you tell chat GPT to do something like that and uh, uh, I, I, I keep it here just to maybe you know how to use the chat GPT more than better than me because I'm not a very heavy user so just just option and uh, so below this below this prompt the others uh, the other content will be sent to ChatGPT api we're going to be the messages in that uh, in that email thread and here in the third column here we have the message and here you can de you can decide how many messages because in the thread maybe you have you know 10 messages or something like that so if you want to check all of them or we just want to check the latest one uh, just re just uh, reply based on the previous one the latest one so you can select one message or two message or three message but you can add a four for sure but in this drop down just want to add one two three and all for these options here so maybe one is a better idea because you don't want to send a lot of text to the chat GPT maybe going to cost you more that's for sure and then you have this option to reply all right so if this is not replied to all and maybe just reply to one single person who sent you this email um, and so then you have this option to reply in draft so if reply in draft this column won't be used because it's in the draft you won't send out uh, right away right so i'm going to trying to test reply all for sure and then the last one if you want to have this enabled if this is disabled you won't uh, you won't basically going to ignore this row right because maybe you have a set of rules and you want to keep this as a record so maybe you'd like to enable this later something like that and uh, let's send a test so i'm going to copy this subject and uh, and here we have the logs so if we have something so let's just send the outlook uh, authentic email from my outlook to check if i can show you the results i'm going to apply this subject and i'm going to send myself a email and i'm going to say can you send me the weather in in China tomorrow so this is basically the message but the message could be something totally different right now I'm just trying to test if if the chat GPT can send me the weather report for tomorrow right so I send this to myself uh, to my Gmail account here and let me go back to uh, to the okay uh, I believe okay so right now right now as you can see here uh, because I already set up this automation so it's already processed this email right 
and uh, this is the log here so it's replied to all so if I go back to my outlook here so you will see here this is the message I sent out and this is the reply from my Gmail account and uh, this is the uh, this is the weather report is sent from the chat GPT so that's basically uh, what I'm trying to do here uh, in, for the whole project and uh, you should be able to try it if you have the you know if you have a paid account for the chat GPT I think it's going to use um, I'm not sure if the free account can use it uh, but you can try it anyway and uh, that's basically so you if you want to reply it directly you can check this if you want, just want to uh, have it in the draft and then you can re you can review the result before you send it out you can use this as an option uh, so that's basically about the project and then uh, I'm going to show you how to set up the project all right so in this menu here so let me just reset it so by resetting this project it's basically it's going to remove it's going to uninstall the triggers and uh, the automation is going to be disabled right and to set up the project so first you need to make a copy of my project with all the source code and uh, what you need to do here uh, when you have the project copied to your drive and uh, you should be able to have uh, something like this so let me just make a copy for you to give you a full and I say this is for uh, YouTube I'm going to make a copy for this one okay so it's going to take a while to see the menu I believe okay it's here and for the first time as usual you need to complete the authorization process like this and uh, let me just select my account and uh, advanced continue and uh, allow all right so now let's just try this setup again and first here uh, the first input you're going to do is about I think it's just your name uh, for the email signature uh, you, but you can use it uh, you, you can add this name you can apply add this name to the chat GPT prompt like uh, my name is Ashton and uh, then create a reply message according to the message below if you don't uh, apply, uh, if you don't uh, supply a name uh, to the prompt um, in the message in, in the reply message maybe uh, the chat GPT cannot figure out what's your name and uh, cannot just maybe place the uh, placeholder in the email body or something like that and then and then this is an interval or frequency is going to check your inbox so if you want to do a very quick check you can sort of one minute or five minutes so for one minute and then the last one is basically the API key so if I put an invalid API key here, I should get an error message like this. So you basically need to apply a valid API key. So if you see an error like this, basically uh, you're going to get some kind of error like this. And uh, let me check if I can find a other message from So if I put some uh, like free account, we may have some quota issue. Maybe it's not a paid account. Uh, let me just find a key. Let's create a new key. So I paste the key here. And uh, you will see some kind of message like this. Maybe I, so this is for my another free account so this is API key and uh, I got this error message like this it's basically the quota issue here uh, so you need to have a basically maybe a better paid account 
and uh, you enter your API key and it should work like that. And after you have the API key entered and going to set up the project for you very quickly. Okay, so that's all you need to do. Okay, and uh, basically set up the project and um, you should be able to go. Maybe let me just grab a key. I can try it again for you. Wait a moment. So I got a valid key, so let's just do it again. And so uh, let's say 10 minutes. And then I put the key. I'm going to OK. Now it's set up successfully. And so uh, this time, so when you set up a key successfully, you should be able to run the so this is a manual run here, and uh, you'll be able to add a sample rule here, All right? So just in case you want to uh, you remove everything and don't know how to add a rule. So this rule is very important, okay? So you need to test this rule in your Gmail, so uh, like this, so they can find an email like this. So that means this rule is valid. So you basically need to test this rule. Uh, if you don't know how to create your own rule, so you can do a search for Gmail operator. I think it's operator, search operator or something like that. Okay, do a search for Gmail operators. So you can read this document and uh, create your own query to get what you need. Basically create, create your own filter and then you just paste it here and then this is the prompt like a, the, basically the first line of message message in the prompt and the rest of them will be the message from so depending how many message from there right so that's almost about this project and let me know if this is uh, if any questions or any other ideas and I think that's it for this video. Thank you. Bye-bye.